Today's tip is going to be on how to get extra traction on your lawnmower or Jeep crawler. Actually, anything would work. Instead of buying the actual tire weights, what you should do is you should worry about buying the cheap ass windshield washer fluid. Windshield washer fluid is just like water, eight pounds per gallon, roughly, whatever. If it's not perfect, kiss my ass. Anyway, it's good down to negative 20. And I put in these tires here. All right, now these are excessive tires, all right? Probably got some hills and whatnot. And uh, I wanted extra traction and stability for mowing. I put 120 pounds extra on this lawnmower at the lowest point. I lowered the center of gravity way the hell down. All right, first off, all the weight's down anyway. But I even put, you know, three gallons up in the front and, you know, eight pounds per gallon, you figure it out. My other rider, my standard radio, regular everyday lawnmower, I put 12 gallons of washer fluid in all four tires. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That might have been just the rear. I don't know. I haven't done the front yet. Anyway, the moral of the story is, is, is you put the ballast in at the lowest point, you lower your center of gravity, you add extra weight, you'll get better traction, guaranteed. And, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to do. Now, on, on the regular lawnmower tires, you can take the, the wheel off the tractor and then pop one of the beads and just pour the crap in. You're not looking to get 100% full. What you're trying to get is about 75% full. You need a little bit of air in there for expansion and whatnot and, uh, and give you some cushion. Uh, you'll be surprised how better, much better that thing runs uh, as far as, like, bouncing and whatnot. Now, you can do it. The, the easy way, the easy way is with the, uh, just popping the bead, as long as you can get one of the beads off, just lay the, the rim on its side and pour the crap in. And then when you're done, reseat the bead with the air and you're good to go. Or you can buy one of these fancy freaking garden hose adapters. This is what it looks like. All right. This little valve right here on the side is a pressure release. You press that button. So you, you pump it up with your pump. And then once it gets full, you shut your pump off, you bleed the air pressure back out. What I do is I stand on the tire too. It's a, I, I use a, a submersible, a standard Craftsman. Uh, I don't want to pitch any of the freaking hardware stores, but this thing here, lifetime guarantee is submersible. It's pretty damn good. It's one of the, my favorites. It's a hundred dollars. It's worth buying. Um, it is a Craftsman model something, something. 33 MSP. No, no, not Craftsman. Good. Coleman. Coleman. Craftsman sucks. Don't buy Craftsman. Anyway, uh, I just take a clean five gallon bucket and start pouring the washer fluid in and then start pumping it up. When you get down to the very end, you know, I, I like started running out of room and I had about a gallon to put back in there. I cut the top off of one of my uh, washer fluid containers. That submersible fits right in there perfectly. And you can see how much I wasted. I mean, that's it. So, and I mean, whatever. I, I spent $120, $60 so far on uh, washer fluid. That's 24 gallons. That's a lot of damn washer fluid. Um, I've got my actual tractor tractor. I'm going to do that next. And I think I might buy a 55-gallon drum for that job. Anyway, the moral story is, is this is a very easy way to get traction and stability. And it even works with the regular lawnmower tires. i got these tires over here. Here, these ones. And, you know, those, those were pretty good too, but I got some hills and my theory is, is, is the better traction I get. Now, granted, when I do lose traction, I'm going to tear the hell out of my yard. I put ATV knobby tires on the back of my rider and I put these big old gnarly things on my zero turn. Now I can do all kinds of crap with this stuff now. Anyway, that's just a good little tip. That's a four-minute video, five-minute video, whatever. Uh, hopefully this helps somebody. Take care.